Hi, my name is Josiah Mollett Coop, and I'm studying agriculture science at the University of Guelph. This presentation will look at new possibilities for controlling bird damage in vineyards. Wine production is very important for the Canadian economy. In 2012, it generated revenues of $1.1 billion and employed over 3,700 people. Wine production has been on the rise in Ontario and specifically the Niagara region. Ontario is known for its wine production, specifically in the Niagara region because of its soil and climate. The Niagara region is located here between Hamilton and Niagara Falls. It's located in between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, which typically provides a warmer climate during the winter months. Niagara is home to many state-of-the-art wineries and vineyards and has become a popular tourist destination and has held to very high standards for its wine production. High quality wines require high quality grapes. Many factors can impact grape quality, such as pests, disease, and rot. These factors are monitored very closely throughout the growing season. A major issue for grape growers across the country is the issue of bird damage. Birds can cause major problems for fruit production, which can lead to loss of crop and to disease, and it affects the quality of the grapes. The picture on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is what bird damage looks like. This can lead to disease, rot, and can attract insects and other pests. If the rot gets to a very high level in the vineyard, the winery may not take the grapes. This can cause a huge loss for the farmer. The last three weeks leading up to harvest can be the most intense in terms of bird damage. Current bird management techniques include the use of propane cannons, shown on the top left, and flare gun noisemakers, shown on the bottom. Both can be effective, but can also be costly, especially when using propane. Propane cannons are not very portable and only are effective at scaring birds from a small part of the vineyard at a time. These methods can also be fairly loud and can possibly be disruptive to surrounding environments. Netting can also be placed over the grapes, but it's a very, it's very labor intensive method because of setup and takedown. There's always room for improvement, but is there possibly a more effective method that could actually be cheaper? My idea is to use drones to scare birds. The drone would take time flights around the field and return back to a charging station to charge by itself. It would all be based on GPS coordinates and the drone would have flashing reflective tape and paint and it would make noises to repel birds. Some companies that have already developed similar technology that could be useful are Parrot and DJI. Both have developed autonomous drones as well as drones that can charge within 15 minutes. This could be useful for my product. Benefits of using a drone would be that it is easier to move around and can cover more acreage. The drone will be able to be programmed from a smartphone so that you can control it remotely. Possible customers that would be interested in this product are any tender fruit or berry farm or farms with bird damage issues. Because of the ability to monitor and control this drone remotely, this is very beneficial for large scale farms or fields off the main farm location where it's inconvenient to frequently monitor the bird activity. The drone is much quieter than a propane cannon, which makes it desirable for farms with close neighbors or noise sensitive areas such as poultry barns or other livestock operations where loud noises such as the propane cannon could be an issue. Canada is home to many species of birds that can cause damage to vineyards. Using a drone would be an alternate way to prevent damage and to maintain grape quality. For Canada to keep its high standards for wine and continue to produce large amounts at a reasonable cost, bird management is crucial and this idea could potentially increase yields, save money, and be less invasive to surrounding environment. Thank you for listening to my presentation. For more information, a written evaluation of the idea is available.